Hi Captain. Thank you for purchasing the Sense4 Boat Battery Sensor. In this tutorial we will show you how to install and configure this sensor. Let us start by adding sensor with the mobile app. Please, open the application and click on the tile at New Sensors. A pop-up will appear, in which we ask you whether you already have a sensor or want to purchase a new one. Since you already have a sensor, please select this option from the menu. Now, please place the sensor in the view area of the camera and scan the QR code provided with the sensor. Excellent, we found your sensor in the system. Now, please enter the description of the sensor. This description helps you to identify which batteries you are monitoring with this sensors. Also, please let us know if the sensor will monitor 12 or 24 volt system. When done, please press add this sensor to complete the operation. Congratulations, you have successfully added the battery sensors to your system. Let us now connect the sensor to your batteries. Connecting the sensor to the batteries is very simple. Please, connect the red wire to the plus terminal of the battery. and the black wire, together with the temperature probe, to the negative terminal of the battery. On a 12-volt system, you will probably have multiple batteries in parallel. It really doesn't matter to which battery you connect the wires. However, be cautious when connecting a 24-volt system. In a 24-volt system you will have two batteries packs connected in series. Now, let us fix the sensor. Please, mount the sensor as high as possible to ensure better radio reception. Always in vertical orientation, with the cable going downwards. Now, we are ready to receive the first measurements from the sensor. Please, open the app and click on the sensor tile. On the upper left corner you should see the actual voltage and the temperature. Right below are the graphs. You can switch between three different graphs, battery voltage, charging time and temperature of the batteries. All the graphs can be viewed on different time axis, for example 3 days, 7 days or more. Additionally, you can use your fingers to zoom in into a particular time window of a graph. Here you can specify the thresholds for all notifications, like for example low battery warning. If you want to disable a specific notification, please click on the toggle button on or off. If you want, you can add some additional information about the batteries. For example, it might be useful to know which type of batteries you installed, and the date of the first usage. And finally, press the Save Changes button to store your preferences. Congratulations Captain, well done! You have successfully installed and configured your battery sensor. We wish you many joyful charging cycles and a long and prosperous battery life.